Hello, welcome to John B. RD, the research desk. Today, I will be talking about how to start an oyster farm business in 2020. Do you want to start an oyster farm? If yes, here's a complete guide to starting an oyster farm business with no money and no experience, plus a sample oyster farming business plan template. I will put in the description of this video. There are tons of business opportunities in the fish and seafood farm farming industry, and oyster farming is one of them. Oyster is known as one of the world's healthiest foods and is eaten in all continents of the world. Its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties make it most desirable by those who are carefully about their cholesterol intake. It is classified as a marine creature, and it is easy to come by, especially in the coastal areas and the riverside. Oyster farming is known to be a profitable business and has evolved from small scale to a global industry in most countries where it is carried out. Countries like Greece, Philippines, China, Japan, Thailand, and Caribbean countries and even South American countries have been farming oysters in a large scale for a long time. The United States isn't far from the trade as there are a lot of people from the river line areas whose profession is oyster farming. If you are thinking with diving into the seafood business, a good idea is that you can't get it wrong with the oyster farming business. This is especially if you live in the coastal areas, it is easy to start, cheap to maintain, and take short time to get a good return on your investment if you know the ropes. Starting an oyster farming business comes with its own fair share of challenges. The aspiring entrepreneur can either choose to start an oyster farm or a small scale or on a large scale depending on their financial status. So if you are serious about starting your own oyster farm business, all you need to do is read this article and you will be well equipped. So 20 steps to starting the oyster farming business. One, understand the industry. Companies in this, <clears throat> excuse me. Companies in this industry farm oyster and aquatic creatures is controlled aquatic environments. Industries operate, use some of the forms of invention in the rearing process to enhance production, such as holding in captivity and protecting from predators, pests, and diseases. Ideally, oyster farms require treatments that are above 25 Celsius during production season. The fish and the seafood aquaculture industry that oyster farming businesses is part of has experienced slow growth over the past half decade. This is due to the fact that the vast majority of the industry revenue is derived from sales of fish, mollusks, and crustulants that will be processed into food product products. The success of this industry is tied to levels of seafood consumption. Per capita seafood consumption in the United States has declined in recent time, putting a strain on the fish and seafood farmers. Nevertheless, with the recent increase in price of seafood combined with the healthy export market, the revenue generated in the industry revenue is expected to grow accordingly. The fish and seafood aquaculture industry is indeed fa a fast growing industry and pretty much active in countries such as the United States of America, Australia, Japan, China, Germany, and Singapore. There is no single fish and seafood oyster farm company that has dominated market share in the industry. Hence, small, smaller fish and seafood oyster farm business can successfully make profits. Statistically, it has it that in the United States of America alone, there are about 2,807 registered and licensed fish and seafood farms. Oyster farms inclusive business 
responsible for employing about 10,440 employees in the industry breaks in a whopping sum of $1 billion annually. The industry is projected to enjoy 0.3% annual growth. A recent report published by IBIS World shows that the fish and seafood aquaculture industry is expected to generate 27.4% of the revenue through the sale of farming seafood oyster in inclusive in 2016. Oysters is amongst one of the popular forms of the seafood eaten in the United States. The report United States that they are also relatively easy to and inexpensive to farm. Their farming does little damage to the environment in which they are raised. They are primarily raised in Mississippi, Louisiana, and other parts of the Deep South where they have been cultivated in a farm since 1960. One thing is certain when it comes to seafood, oyster farming, if you are able to conduct your market research and feasible studies, you are more likely to be going on to struggle to sell your farm produce, oysters and seafood, because they are always food processing companies and consumers out there who are ready to buy from you. Some of the factors that encourage entrepreneurs to start their own oyster farm could be the business is easy to set up and they are easy. They can easily get support from the government. You can actually start your own oyster farm in your compound if you live in a rural farming community. All you need to do is purchase the first set of oysters, purchase your oyster farming tools, and then build your ponds and create the market, the market in a lake or a river around you. Despite that fact, the oyster farm has been existent since time, immoral that does not in any way make the industry to be oversaturated. Oyster farmers are exploring new technology to continue to improve on the farming process. The fact that there is always a ready market for oysters and the seafood makes the business evergreen to conduct market research and feasibility studies Demographics and psychographics. The demographics and psychographics of this compensation of those who consume oysters and other seafood is not restricted to a group of people. People of different races and cultures consume oysters and their other seafood, hence the market is all encompassing. So if you are looking toward defining a demographic for your oyster farming business, then you should make it all encompassing. It should include households, hotels, restaurants, and businesses that rely on, su on supply of oysters and other seafood. Three, decide which niche and concentrate on. There is no niche in the area of the oyster farming business. Every player in the industry simply farms oysters and the other seafood, but some may decide to go into oyster processing and packaging. As against selling directly to grocery stores, or in farm market. So if you are looking towards starting your own oyster farm business, then you should clearly define your market so that you will be able to know how to get oysters and other seafood to them. The level of competition in the industry, no matter the line of the business you decide to pitch for your tent, you are still going to compete with others and who are into the same area of business and oyster farm businesses is not an exemption. The level of compensation or competition in this fish and seafood farms industry, oyster farming to some extent depends largely on the location of the business and of course, the capacity of the farm, oyster farms. If you can successfully add oyster and seafood processing to pack, packaging of your oyster farming business, you are likely going to experience a little to no comp competition. For instance, if you are the only oyster farm in your location that is into oyster and other seafood processing and packaging, you can successfully monopolize the market for a long time before you start having comp com competitions. It is important to also state that 
the competition in the oyster and seafood farms industry depends on the scale of your oyster farms. Four, know your major competitors in the industry. These are some of the leading oyster and seafood farms in the United States of America and on the global scale. Tyler Shellfish Farms, Blue Ridge Aquaculture Inc., Woods, Woods Fisheries, Port St. Joe's, Florida, Ken's Hatchery and Fish Farm, Inc., Freshwater Farms of Ohio, Rimmel Fish Farm, LTD, Hudson Valley Fish Farms, Inc., Australia's Aquaculture, LLC, Fresh Shrimp, USA, Waters Meat Fish Trout Hatchery, Garden State Farmers Market, The Glenbrook Farm, Burrow Blue Farm, Ben Sidon, USA Inc., Waterline USA, Lake and Wetland USA, Kissimmee Office, Fish and Farm, Sullivan Harbor Farm, Russian Water Fisheries LLC, Economic Analyst, when conducting cost, costing and economic analysis to, of your oyster or seafood farms business, you just have to critically examine these key factors, access to the market, access to cheap labor, and of course, good climate conditions. As a matter of fact, you would have to continue to review these key factors at a regular interval while running your own oyster and seafood farm business as an oyster and seafood farm owner, you just have to have a proper grasp of your competitive landscape. If indeed you want to maximize profits and be in the front line of the industry, it is important to note that med medication treatment and feed costs is one of the most important factors contributing to overall cost of the oyster and seafood farm business and should be considered as a major factor when carrying out your cost and economic analysts. Five, decide whether to buy or franchise, or start from scratch. If you're looking towards starting an oyster or seafood farm business, and you would have to start from the very scratch simply because you can hardly get franchise of an oyster or seafood farm to buy, it is a business that is open to all and sundry. Besides starting an oyster and seafood farm from scratch and less stressful when compared to other small-scale business, which usually require detailed groundwork, before launching a business with oyster and seafood farm, you should just try to as much as possible to secure your business license. Pull your startup capital, working capital, secure a good aquaculture farm plan and a good location, build business relationship with key stakeholders and then leverage on every marketing tool within your disposal, especially in the internet when it comes to marketing your oysters and seafood that are put up for sale. Please note that most of the big and successful oyster seafood farms of players in the fish and for seafood farm industries start from scratch and they are able to build a solid business brand. Six, know the possible threats and challenges you will face. If you decide to start your own seafood in an oyster farm business today, one of the major challenges you are likely going to face is the process or presence of well-established oyster and seafood farms in your target market location. The only way to avoid this challenge is to create your own market. Concentrate on households, individuals, and as small restaurants and hotels who need supply of oysters and seafood from oyster and seafood farms. Some other threats and challenges that you are likely going to face when you are starting your own oyster and seafood farm business are global economic downturn that can impact negatively on the household spending, bad weather conditions, natural disasters, droughts, and epidemics, unfavorable government policies, and arrival of competitors and oyster farms, or even fish or seafood farms that are also into farming oysters within the same location. There is hardly anything you can do as regards to threats and challenges of others than the optimistic that things will continue to work for your good. Seven. Choose the most stable, legal, entity, LLC, C-Corp, and S-Corp. When considering starting a standard oyster and seafood farming business, the legal entity you choose will go a long way into determining how big the business can grow. Generally, you have the option 
either choosing a general partnership, limited liability company, which is commonly called an LLC, or a sole proprietorship for an oyster and seafood farm business. If your location is to grow a business and sell your oysters and the seafood across all of the United States of America and then choose sole proprietorship is not an option for you. Excuse me. Limited liability companies and LLC or even general partnerships will cut it for you. Setting up an LLC protects you from a personal liability. If anything goes wrong in a business, it is only the money that you will invest it into the limited liability company that will be at risk. It is not so. So for sole proprietorships and general partnerships, limited liability companies are simpler or more flexible to operate and you don't need a board of directors, shareholder meetings, or other managerial formalities. These are some of the factors you should consider before choosing a legal entity for your oyster and seafood farm business. Limitation of personal liability, ease of transferability, and admission to new owners, investors, except acceptations, and of course taxes. If you take your time to critically study the various legal entities to use as your oyster and seafood farm business, you agree that the limited liability company and the LLC is most suitable. You can start this type of business as a limited liability company, LLC, and then in the future convert to a C corporate or an S corporate, especially when you have the plans of going public. A. Choose a catchy business name. If you are considering starting your own oyster and seafood farm business, here are some of the catchy names that you can choose from. Zeb Blair Oyster Farms OTCB, Cobra Lane Seafood Farms LLC, Tony Flint and Sons Seafood Inc., Victor Vance Seafood Farm LTD, Moore, spelled M O O R E, Liverpool Oyster Farms LLC, Daniel West Seafood. Farms Inc. Nordic Group Seafood Farms Inc. Emmanuel San Diego Seafood Farms Inc. Tampa Bay Oyster Farms LLC. Nine. Discuss with an agent to know the best insurance policies for you. In the United States, most of the countries of the world, you can't operate a business without having some basic insurance policy covers that are required by the industry you want to operate from. Thus, it is an imperative to create a budget for your insurance and perhaps consult an insurance broker to guide you in choosing the best insurance and most appropriate insurance policies for your oyster and seafood farm business. Here are some of the basic insurance covers that you should consider purchasing if you want to start your own oyster and seafood farm business in the United States. General insurance, health insurance, liability insurance, Animal Morality Insurance, Farm Equipment and Auto Insurance, Commercial Agribusiness Insurance, Workers' Compensation, Overhead Expense, Disability Insurance, Business Owners Policy Group Insurance, Payment Protection Insurance. 10. Protect your intellectual property with trademark, copyrights, and patents. If you are considering starting your own oyster and seafood farm business, usually you may want to have an any need to file for intellectual property protection trademark. This is because the nature of the business makes it possible for you to successfully run the business without having any cause to challenge anybody in court for illegal, illegally making use of your company's intellectual property. 11. Getting the necessary professional certifications. These are some of the certifications you can work towards achieving if you want to run your own oyster and seafood farm business. The ASC certification, membership of Society of Agricultural Professionals, SAP, and degree and diploma in fishery science and related courses. Please note that the average local oyster and seafood farmers and suburbs in the United States do not have certificates. And that does not in any way stop them from growing their western seafood farms to 
and editable types. Well, if the necessary legal documents you need to operate. The essence of having the necessary documentation in place before launching a business into the United States of America cannot be overemphasized. It is in fact that you cannot successfully run any business in the United States without the proper documentation. If you do, it won't be too long before the long hands of the law catches up to you. These are some of the basic legal documents that you are expected to have in place if you are to legally run in your own Oyster Institute farm business in the United States. Business and liability insurance, commercial vehicle operations registration for distribu distribution trucks, appropriate driver's license for drivers, assistance license for assistance, health inspection certificate, proof of ownership, proper identification and vehicle license, taxpayer's ID, taxpayer's ID. Fire certificate, certificate of incorporation, business license, business plan, non disclosure agreement, employment agreement, offer letters, employment handbook, or employees handbook, operating agreement for LLCs, farm partnership agreement, and insurance policy. 13. Raise the needed startup capital. Starting a standard and well-equipped oyster and seafood farming business can be capital intensive, especially if you choose to launch a large oyster and seafood farm within the capacity to supply oysters or other seafood beyond your immediate community. Securing a large aquatic farm land, building well, secured and conducive ponds, Purchasing a first of juvenile oysters and oyster farming tools and equipment are part of what will consume a large chunk of your startup capital. But if you choose to start the business on a small scale, you may not have the need to go source for a fund to, financial, to finance the business. Here are some of the options you can explore when sourcing for startup capital for your oyster and seafood farming business. Raise money and personal savings and sell for personal stocks and properties, raising money from investors and business partners, sell shares to interested investors, apply for a loan for the banks from your banks, pitching your business idea and applying for business grants and seed funding from government, donor organizations, and angel investors, sourcing for soft loans from your family members and your friends. 14. Choose a suitable location for your business. Starting a business such as an oyster and seafood farm comes with its own challenges. It is a business that cannot be started in any location of your choice. As a matter of fact, you will not be allowed to start your own oyster and seafood farm in a residential estate in the United States of America, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and Australia. The only location you can be allowed to start an oyster and seafood farm is a farm land designated for oysters and seafood farm and is usually around coastal and swampy areas. Before choosing a location for your oyster and seafood farm, ensure that you first conduct through feasibility studies and market surveys. The possibility of you coming across similar business that close shop in a location and you want to start yours can't be ruled out. This is why it is very important to gather as much facts and figures before choosing a location to set up your oyster or seafood farm. These are some of the key factors that you should consider before choosing a location for your oyster and seafood farm. The demography of this location and the demand for the oyster and other seafoods in the location, the purchase power of the residents of the location, accessibility to the location, the number of oyster and seafood farms and related aquaculture businesses that are in the location, the local laws and regulations in the community slash state, traffic, parking, and security. 15. Hire employees for your technical and manpower needs. When it comes to starting a standard oyster and seafood farm business, you will need to construct safe and standard ponds, indoors and outdoors, and ensure an adequate supply of water. Purchase oysters and seafood harvesters. 
multiple functional oyster and seafood pump and other oyster and seafood farming tools. This equipment can be purchased as fairly used if you're on a low budget. When it comes to choosing bay for ranching and leasing an aquatic farmland for your oyster and seafood farm, the size of the oyster and seafood farm you want to own and your entire budget for the business should influence your choice. If you have enough capital to run a pretty large and well equipped oyster and farm business, then you should consider the option of long lease or rightly purchasing an aquatic farm. As regards to the number of employees that you are expected to kick start a business, with your needs to consider your financial before your finances before making a decision av averagely when it comes to starting a standard oyster and seafood farm business on a large scale you would need the service of following pr professionals chief operations officer you can occupy this position general farm manager accountant cashier sales and marketing executive field employees and cleaners and security guards. Over and above, you would need a minimum of five to 10 key staff members to effectively run a medium scale, but standard oyster seafood farm business. Please note that there will be any times when you are expected to go out of your way to hire experts to help you handle some job function. If you are just starting out, you may have the financial capacity to or required business structure to retain all the professionals that are expected to work with you well, which is why you should make plans to partner with vet clinics around you. The service delivery process of the business. When it comes to operational activities of an oyster and seafood farm, the process is simple and starts forward. And as a matter of fact, the oyster farm and seafood farm can successfully run on autopilot with little or no supervision from owner. Basically, when the ponds and the required facilities have been put in place and the juvenile oysters and seafood are placed inside, and every morning and evening and perhaps afternoon, the oyster and the seafood are fed once in a specific period. The water in the pond is changed. Once the oysters and seafood are matured, they are harvested with the aid of oyster and seafood harvesters and then sold to buyers, and they are transported to the farm markets or to hotels and restaurants, as requested. It is important to state that even though the above stated is an ideal business process of an oyster and seafood farm, an oyster and seafood farm may decide in imp improvising or adopt any business process structure that will generate them good return on their services and investments. 16. Write a marketing plan packed with ideas and strategies. As an oyster and seafood farmer, you would have to you would have to prove that you have the capacity to not only manage your oyster and seafood farm, but also supply oysters and other seafood to a commercial level on a consistent basis. So if you have plans on starting your oyster and seafood farm business, it will pay you to start first to build your capacity before sourcing to supply oysters and seafood to a larger hotel, food processing, and packaging companies who require oysters and other seafood from other oyster and seafood farmers. The fact that the entry barrier for starting a small-scale oyster and seafood farm business is low means that there is bound to be more players in the industry no matter the location you choose to start yours. In essence, you must come up with the creativity and innovation if you must carve out a market for yourself within the available market in your community, city, state, or country. So when you start to draft the market plans and strategies for your oyster and seafood farming business, make sure that you create a compelling personal and comp company's profile. Aside from your qualifications and experience, it is important to quite clearly state in the practice terms that you have been able to achieve in the time past as it relates to the industry <clears throat> you intend starting your business. This will help boost your chances in the marketplace and marketing for your oyster and seafood farm businesses. Here are some of the platforms you can utilize in your market, your oyster and seafood farm produce.
introduce your business by sending introductory letters alongside your brochure to households, hotels, restaurants, food processing, and packaging companies that needed steady supply of oysters and other seafood, grocery stores, and related businesses in the United States. If you are starting out, you may want to concentrate on the startup and smaller businesses. Promptness and bidding on for your oysters and seafood supply contracts. Open your oyster and seafood farm with the party as a capture and attention of your residents who are your first target. Engaging in roadshow and targeted communities from time to time. Sell your oysters and seafood. Advertise your oyster and seafood farm in a community based newspapers, local TV, and radio stations. List your business and products on Yellow Page ads local directories, engage in direct market and sales, encourage the use of your word to mouth marketing, referrals, leverage on the internet on prompt your business, join local chambers of commerce and industry around you with the main aim of networking and marketing your product. You are likely to be going to get referrals from such networks, engage in service marketing, Executives and business developers carry out direct marketing for you. 17. Work out a reasonable pricing for your service and products. One key factor that will help you in sell your oysters and seafood at a price that is highly attractive is to ensure that you are source your startup capital <clears throat> your startup capital from sources that won't put pressure on you and give you high interest rates. So also when it comes to juvenile oysters and other seafood supply and aquatic farm equipment and tools, feed and medication, it is advisable that you should also purchase them directly from the manufacturers or from wholesalers. Another strategy that will help you sell your oysters and other seafood at a rate price is ensure that you cut operational costs to the barest minimum. Channel your efforts toward marketing and promoting your brand name. Aside from the fact that this strategy will help you save cost, it will also help you get the right pricing for your services. 18. Develop ironclad competitive strategies to help you win. The fish in the seafood industry is a competitive industry, and you must come up with a unique and highly creative strategy to be able to outsmart your competitors in the industry. Part of what you need to do in order to stay competitive in the industry is to continue creating easier and cheaper ways to farm oysters and other seafood on a commercial quantity. And other, to stay competitive in this industry, you must ensure that your oysters and other seafood are distributed and always available in outlets within your target market. The truth is that if, there's, if there are fluctuations in the supply of the oysters and other seafood com customers, you can choose to ship allegiance and settle for other options available. 19. Develop strategies to boost brand awareness and create a corporate entity. Here are the platforms you can leverage on the boost of your brand awareness and create a corporate entity for your oyster and seafood farm business. Place a verse of both print, newspaper, and magazines and electronic media platforms. Sponsor relevant community-based events and programs. Leverage on the internet and social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Google, and pro promote your business. Install your billboards in a strategic location all around the city and state. Engage in road, road shows from time to time targeting neighborhoods. Distribute your filers and handbills in target areas. Contact households, hotels, restaurants, food processing, and packaging companies that need regular supply of oyster and other seafood grocery stores and related businesses in target areas by calling them up and informing them of your oyster and seafood farm. List your oyster and seafood farm in local directories, go pages. Advertise your oyster and seafood farm in your local official website and employ strategies that will help you pull traffic to the site. Ensure that all your staff members wear your branded shirt and all of your vehicles and trucks are well branded with your company logo. 20. Create a supply and distribution network. Western and seafood farm businesses require that you have a business network that well enables you to supply your oyster and seafood farm to customers as soon as they are due to har for harvest. 
With that, you will be able to efficiently run the business and make good profits out of it. One of the major challenges that farmers have is inevitably to sell their farm produce after harvest. So all you have to do is to ensure that you can create reliable suppliers and distribution networks for your oyster and seafood. For your oyster and seafood. Partnering with hotels, seafood, merchandisers, restaurants, seafood processing, and packaging companies, and other key players in the industry. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please be sure to give a like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon, and then click all to get notified of upcoming videos. And please help me share this video so that we can make this video go viral. I would greatly appreciate all the support that I can get as being a new content creator. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.